All right, so the men's draw for Rome has just come out, and there's some really interesting unseeded guys floating around. Of course, the big 32 seeds are also playing. Uh, let's go have a look at who's not playing, though, because we do have a lot of players that are not playing. It's massive names. Okay, so we have Alcaraz pulling out, of course, uh, with that arm injury. Uh, you got Kazo, he's still not playing. Diaz Acosta, also not playing. Jera, Lehechka, both not playing. Murray pulled out, and also Sinner has pulled out of this one, which is such a shame, not playing at home in Rome. That's really disappointing, and uh, also disappointing because the French Open's just around the corner. But let's get to the top of the draw because we do have a lot of big names that are playing and are returning to this tournament. Okay, 32 seeds in this one, and everyone gets a buy in the first round if you have a number next to your name. Novak Djokovic, he's back. Didn't play in Madrid, and he's back in Rome. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Safiulin in the second round. Then you got Menzik taking on Hampman. Winner of that will take on the number 29 seed Tabillo in the second round. Then you got the 20th seed Sarundalo. He'll take on either Giganti or Zapiri in the second round. Then you got Shevchenko taking on Marajan. Winner of that will take on the number 16 seed Hashinov in the second round. It's not a terrible draw. It could have been worse. Uh, Hashinov's not going to be easy, though, for Djokovic in that fourth round. Uh, Safulin, you know, he has provided some upsets here and there. But you've got to say that Djokovic has got a pretty nice draw. And you've got to watch out for Djokovic. You've got to watch out for Hashinov. Uh, you've also got to watch out for Marajan as a dangerous unseeded player. Also, Sarundalo played really well last week. Uh, making the quarterfinals of Madrid, uh, beating Zverev along the way. So there are the players you got to watch out for there. All right, next section of the draw, you've got number 12, C. Shelton. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Kotov or Mikkelsen in the second round. Then you've got Zhang taking on Gallen. Winner of that will take on the number 19, seed Manorino in the second round. Then you've got Thompson, the number 32 seed. He'll take on either a qualifier or Monfils in the second round. Then you've got Kecmenovic taking on another qualifier. Winner will take on number 5, seed Rude in the second round. And if you're a Casper Rude fan, just like Djokovic, it's not that bad. Like, this is not a bad draw. In fact, this quarter might be the best quarter for the seeds. I mean, Rood and Djokovic have a pretty clear path. In the Rood section, you've got to watch out for Casper Rood, of course, in that section. I mean, guess you watch out for Shelton as well. You know, he can be dangerous, but on clay, I, I don't know. Uh, Monfils, unseated there, dangerous. Got to watch out for him. But I'm going to be honest, I think Djokovic and Rude have a very nice path and should make it to the quarterfinals. Next section of the draw, you've got number three seed, Zverev. It's in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Vukic in the second round. Then you got Dadiri taking on Shapovalov. Winner of that will take on the number 28 seed, Navone, in the second round. Then you got number 23 seed, Griegspoor. He'll take on either Rindanish or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Borges versus Martinez. Winner of that will take on the number 15 seed, Bublik, second round. This section's getting a little, little more difficult. Now, Zverev, uh, he might be able to get through the first couple of rounds, but Navone's been in some form. It's going to be a bit scary. Shapo, of course, we can we know what he can do. Uh, but you got to watch out for Zverev in this section. Watch out for Navone. Just won a challenge event last week, so watch out for him. Uh, you got to watch out for Griegspoor. Spore. He can play on all surfaces. He showed that a little bit last week. Uh, and you've also got to watch out for Chapo. Chapo still coming back from injury, but can can beat a lot of these, uh, or can challenge some of these big guys, especially on clay. He can play on clay. Next section of the draw, you've got 11 seed Fritz. It's by in the first round. He'll take on either Evans or Fanini in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Kaboli. Winner of that will take on the number 24 seed Quarter in the second round. Then you've got the 26 seed Musetti. He'll take on either Eubanks or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Nishioka taking on Ovna. Winner of that will take on the number eight seed, Dimitrov, in the second round. Now, this section is where it starts to get a little more open, a little bit more interesting. There's a lot of names there that are good on clay, a lot of names that are having need some form. Uh, you got to watch out for Dimitrov, but he does have to get some results because he hasn't had much going on on the clay over the last couple of months. Uh, got to watch out for Fritz, made the semis of uh, Madrid last week. Had a really, really good run. Uh, also got to watch out for Musetti, playing at home. That's always going to be dangerous for anyone who has to play against one of these hometown favorite crowd and not going to be friendly. Uh, also got to watch out for Corder in this section as well. Uh, and I'd also, uh, maybe not as like a threat for anything, but I watch out for Fanini. You know, it might be one of his last times playing in Rome, so... You chuck Fanini in there as well. The veteran from Italy, he's, you know, kind of held up Italian tennis. And this section of the draw, of course, will take on the Djokovic section of the draw. So we could be getting Djokovic versus Verev. If you want to go by the big names, you could be going, getting Djokovic versus Dimitrov, if you want to go with him instead. Or if you want to go with a little bit of form, maybe you go with Djokovic versus Fritz in the semifinals, because, of course, Fritz did make a good run last week and uh, is capable on clay. Uh, if you don't want to go with Djokovic for whatever reason, maybe you want to go with the other side, Zverev. Maybe you go with Zverev taking on Rude. 
you know, Rude's been in some good form. Rude did beat Djokovic in Monte Carlos. Or maybe you want to go with, you know, uh, Dimitrov versus Rude. If you want to go with something different, or Fritz versus Rude is also possibly there. All right, next section of the draw. We've got the number six seed, Sidzi Baskets, to buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Struff versus Cashin. That's a very tough second round for Steph. Struff's been in form, pushed Alcaraz last week, also won his first title a couple weeks ago. Not easy, not easy. Then you got Hitchikata taking on Munar. Winner of that will take on the number 27 seed, Nori, in the second round. Then you got Ojeel Yassim, the 18th seed. He'll take on either Vavrinka or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Bayana taking on O'Connell. Winner of that will take on the number nine seed, Demonor, in the second round. This section is interesting. Like This is probably the most stacked section uh, so far. You know, you got City Pass there, Demonor, obviously FAA playing really well. You gotta watch out for Steph. You know, one Monte Carlo, final of Barcelona. Needs a rebound from last week. Uh, you gotta watch out for Demonor. Did beat Rafa in Barcelona, even though he did lose to Rafa last week and uh, lost to Djokovic and Monte Carlo. Again, if they're the losses you've had, you've lost to the two goats. Uh, nothing to be uh, wrong about that. Gotta watch out for FAA. He's in form. Gotta watch out for him. I'd watch out for Vrinka as well. And also watch out for Struff, who, as I said, has been pretty good the last couple of weeks and would be a nightmare second round for Steph if he does face off. All right, next section of the draw, we've got number 13, Sid Bear. He'll take on a, on either Napolitano or Berrettini in the second round. So a couple of Italians going at it. Then you got Mahash taking on Analdi. Winner of that will take on the number 21 seed, Jarry, in the second round. Then you got Feast, the number 31 seed. He will take on the winner of a qualifier or Fucevic in the second round. Then you got Rusevori taking on Giron. Winner of that will take on number four seed, Rublev, who has just won Madrid. So really fun to see how Rublev can respond after playing so well last week. Uh, but look, this is another interesting section. Uh, the standout, though, is Rublev. I mean, no doubt, Rublev's the man. He's expected to get out of here. The other guys haven't been playing well. So you've got to watch out for Rublev in this section. Uh, watch out for Berrettini, of course, playing at home, you know, trying to make his way back up the rankings. Watch out for him. I'd watch out for Jarry as well. Of course, on the clay courts, is capable, uh, especially at the, Euro the uh, South American clay. He was, he's been very good. Uh, and I'd also watch out for Rinaldi as well, another Italian who uh, has had some interesting results this year. So the Italians and Rublev are probably the part of this draw that you got to watch out for them. All right, bottom corner of the draw, you've got the number seven seed, Hercatch. He'll take on either a qualifier or Rafa Nadal in the second round. So Rafa, Hercatch, second round. I kind of love that for Rafa. Then we got Vilch taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 25 seed, Echeverry, the second round. Then you got number 17 seed, Baez. He'll take on either Lajevic or Sonigo in the second round. Then you got Altmaier taking on Nardi. Winner of that will take on the number 10 seed, Runa, in the second round. Very fun section. And if you're a Rafa fan, you should be a little bit excited. I think if Rafa can get through that first round, he can play. Like playing her catch will be a lot of fun. But you've got to watch out for her catch. You've got to watch out for Runa. Of course, you've got to watch out for Rafa in this as well. Uh, but I'd also watch out for Baez because he was really good in South America on clay and he really hasn't proven uh, himself yet on the clay in Europe. But on the really slow clay here, he might be someone to watch out for. Bottom section of the draw, you've got the number 14 seed, Paul. He'll take on either McDonald or Karatsev in the second round. Then you've got Koffer taking on Vavasori. Winner of that will take on the number 22 seed Tiafo, second round. Then you got number 30th seed, Davidovich for Kina. He'll take on either Poprin or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Draper taking on Chorich. Winner of that will take on the number two seed and defending champion, Daniel Medvedev. That is a tough draw, especially because Draper, and well, Chorich as well, but mainly Draper because he's been better this year. Draper is very, very capable of playing on claim. Very dangerous for someone like Medvedev, especially if Medvedev's carrying an injury, which we think he might be after withdrawing from uh, his match last week, Madrid. Uh, but you got to watch out for Medvedev in this section. Uh, I'd watch out for Fakina as well. Very capable on the clay. Like I said, Draper as well. I'd be watching out for him, especially in that second round against Medi. Medi's not 100%. He could lose that matchup. This section of the draw will take on the Rublev section. So we could be getting Medvedev Rublev. You want to go by the big names? You could be going Medvedev versus City Pass in a semi final if you think Steph's going to keep going and maybe regain some form after a terrible week last week. Uh, if you want to keep going with Medi, maybe go Medi versus, you know, Demon or if you want to do something a little different. Or maybe Medvedev FAA, who's been really good. Or if you want to go to the other side of things and maybe not pick Medvedev because he has got an injury uh, a cloud, maybe go with Rublev versus Runa. Maybe Rublev Hercat. If you want to go something a little different, uh, maybe you go with Rublev versus Rafa. Again, if you want to dream big. Or maybe you go with City Pass Rafa. If you want to change it up and go with Steph instead. But, uh, man, very interesting draw. Look, I think Djokovic is... He's got to win eventually, right? He's got to, He hasn't won a tournament all year. I'm, I think Djokovic has got to win eventually, and he's probably going to win here. With no Sinner and no Alcaraz, it's Djokovic's tournament, I, I feel. Especially with Medvedev being injured. Maybe maybe you want to go with City Pass. Maybe Rublev keeps rolling. You know, maybe he goes... Maybe it's Rude. Kasper Rude wins his first 1,000 event. Rafa might... I mean, that would be crazy. But who knows? Maybe Djokovic, Rafa in the final. I don't know. I don't know. But um, there's the draw for the men. That's it. And Rome starts in a couple of days.